In this first video, we're going to show you guys how your stock stereo system is configured from Toyota. When you understand how it's configured, it's going to make upgrading a lot easier. We offer a few different systems to fit just about any budget. This video is going to cover most Toyota Tundras from 2014 to 2020. If you have a 1794 or Platinum Edition, please check out our other video. All right, so here we're looking at a bird's eye view of the stock stereo in your Toyota Tundra. We'll start from front to back and cover all the speakers and explain how everything is wired up to make it super easy for you guys. All right, so starting with the dash speakers, here you can see on the dashboard of your Toyota Tundra, you have three speaker locations. Not every Tundra is equipped with a center channel. All right, so in this next section, we're going to cover the front door speakers. When you take a close look, it looks or they kind of resemble a six by nine inch speaker. However, when you remove these speakers, it's going to leave an odd shaped hole in the door. In subsequent videos, we'll show you the speaker options that we offer to upgrade your speakers. All right, so in this next section of the video, we're going to be covering the rear door speakers in your Toyota Tundra. First glance, they sort of resemble a six and a half inch speaker, but similar to the front door speakers, they're going to require a special adapter to install aftermarket speakers. And finally, in the rear door of your Toyota Tundra, in the upper part of the door, you have some stock tweeters. In subsequent videos, we'll show you how to upgrade these rear door speakers and keep your vehicle looking stock. All right, so in this next section, we're going to cover the stock amplifier that's located under the passenger seat in your Toyota Tundra. Here you can see the stock amp located under the seat. If you do not have one of these, this probably means that you've got a base model SR vehicle, or truck I should say. Don't worry, we can still help you out. Be sure to let us know when you're placing your order and we'll make sure to send you the correct harness and proper setup guides. Okay, next we'll cover the stock head unit. Our products are designed to help you keep your stock head unit and get the best sound quality possible. However, if you decide to go with an aftermarket stereo slash head unit, our products are set up to handle that as well. All right, so in this next section, we're going to explain how your vehicle is configured. Here you can see the stock stereo is wired directly to the dash tweeters and the rear door tweeters. This is really important because it affects your ability to upgrade your dash speakers and rear door tweeters. All right, so here you can see that the front door speakers and the rear door speakers are wired directly to the stock amplifier located under the passenger seat. In subsequent videos, we're going to show you how to quickly and easily replace this amplifier with one of our direct integration systems. We have a five channel amp, we also have a four channel amp, and a few other amps that are direct replacements for your Toyota Tundra. They use the stock mounting location and we plug directly into your stock wiring so there's no cutting or splicing. In addition, we'll cover the speaker options that we offer including our direct plug and play true component system specifically designed for your Toyota Tundra. In addition, we make it really easy by providing aftermarket sail panels along with the tweeters that fit directly into the doors of your Toyota Tundra. This makes upgrading your speakers fast and easy and will keep you from having to run new speaker wire through the doors in your Toyota Tundra, saving you a lot of time. And here you can see one of our many subwoofer options for your Toyota Tundra. Here you can see the seat going back into place. Be sure to check out the subsequent videos and how we can help you upgrade the audio in your Toyota Tundra.